In this specific video, you're going to learn how to track your WordPress site's social engagement performance. And the reason why you want to do this is because as Google and other search engines are moving towards using social engagement, social media as a metric or a way to determine your site's performance, you need to have a good idea of where your site is and how it can be improved. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, there are several ways to go about this. And the first thing I want to talk about is Google Analytics. Google Analytics actually, within their system, they have a social plugin. So if you go to Google Analytics, you can actually enable this plugin and it'll actually tell you the social interactions but second of all, we're going to be talking primarily about a specific plugin called Social Metrics. So if we go to the WordPress dashboard here and we go under plugins and click on add new, let's do a search for Social Metrics. Click search plugins and this is the plugin up here. So if we click on details, you can see there's a little more detail about this specific plugin. Now the reason why I like this plugin is because it allows you to track your site's performance in terms of popular social networking websites, how your content is shared, how many posts and pages have been shared across these networks. And this gives you a great idea of your social performance. So if you click on install now, click OK, we'll go through the installation process, enter your FTP username and password, click on proceed, click on activate plugin, and there we go. So up here you're gonna see social metrics. If we click on this, you will see once it begins to detect your your, how Twitter announces certain content on your site, how people have announced on Facebook or Google Plus, StumbleUpon, Dig, and LinkedIn. Now, of course, right now you don't see anything just because I've just installed the plugin. However, as your site begins to grow, as you begin to create posts, create pages, and get announced through Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus and so forth, it'll actually tell you the statistics of certain posts and certain pages. Now, the beauty of this plugin is you really don't have to do a lot of tweaking in terms of customization of your settings, but the only settings that you can actually tweak is the number of posts to display at a time. And just to give you an idea of what it will look like, as you can see here, we've got titles, tweet boxes and it tells you okay this specific title has been announced on Twitter 83 times on Facebook 23 times on Google Plus four times and this gives you a good idea of how your content is being shared but not only that it gives you an idea of what is popular and if you know what is being shared and what is popular then you can focus more on that specific content, topics, subjects, and so forth. And that's why it's so important to keep a track of what your statistics look like and how you can improve.